Every time I use Google, the first thing I see is all these ads. This is an ad, this is an ad, this is an ad. The entire first page is just ads. No matter if you're using Edge or Firefox or any browser. That's when I realized that they're not incentivized by giving you the answer the quickest. They're incentivized by money, but there is one browser that values your experience more than the ad revenue and is called Brave, the sponsor of today's video. So I'll review Brave and give you my opinion on it. I'll show you both the Brave browser and the Brave search engine, how you can leverage its AI search abilities that's more accurate and unbiased than other LLMs, compare it with other browsers. So let's get into number one, Brave's AI powered search. You can use it on any browser like Safari all the way to Opera and still use Brave search for its enhanced safety. It's also available on mobile, iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, Linux, anywhere you search. So let's say we search for why do deer eat tiny buds off my apple tree? A real life problem. I can press the up arrow to answer with AI. One of my favorite things is that you know that you're safe because they don't create profiles. And because Brave is an independent, it's not a big tech, they use an independent search index, so it's more unbiased. So we can get this beautiful answer knowing we're not getting tracked, like due to their natural instinct to feed on plants that provide them with essential nutrients. Why do you just eat my apple buds and not my neighbors? Oh, I gotta calm down. Let's do another search. What are the top things to do in Rome? answer with AI. And I bet if I did this on the other search engines that I'll show you in a second, it will just pop up a bunch of ads with hotels and different experiences. Another cool thing is that you get the context in the bottom here. So it's searched through seems about seven, it says five more here. It also includes these follow ups like best local markets to visit, how do I navigate the public transport system and what are some unique and authentic Italian dishes to try and roam? Damn, I really actually want to ask that. And it seems like they're trying to become more of an answer engine rather than just a search engine. Because usually when you search and get an answer, you usually want to get more answers, more specific. Some carbonara with spaghetti, bacon or pancetta, eggs and parmesan cheese. Damn, why did I get hungry all of a sudden? It's also important to note that these AI searches are available in French, German, Italian, and Spanish. It does work in other languages, but you might get an English answer back. But let's head to the next section of comparing it with Google search and DuckDuckGo. So here I am on Google and the search that I wanna do is AI tools. And you can see that sponsor slot number one, two, three, and four are all sponsored as you can see. And it was kind of a big realization for me when they don't really wanna give you the best answer the quickest, they just rely on your money, who can pay the most money to land on spot number one, which is not really a good customer experience. Like if I want to try to find the best AI tool for creators, you can see again that we have four different, literally the first page all sponsored. And then you get the articles from Forbes and all the way here, you get content creators that I believe in, like Think Media. So to get the best answer, you really have to search quite a while to find a good tool. They did also have like AI search before but there was a bunch of controversy around that so I think they've taken it away entirely and not to mention on privacy Google is obviously one of the best at just taking all your data and feeding the algorithm so there is a trade-off there if you like privacy let's also compare it to DuckDuckGo so search without being tracked so they do have a privacy focus but let's see AI tools, here we go, we got an ad here, ad here, ad here. And then they go to ClickUp and Vid.io, so it looks a little bit more independent, but it actually is just a reskin of Microsoft Bing. They apparently also has this assist button where they also have a chat bot, but not even close to as in depth as Brave. Let's try one more with Duck, things to do in Italy. Yep, three more ads. I like that they're opening this map. And if we go to the chat bot, oh, it just opens in a chat bot. 
Okay, let's do a new comparison with Brave. So if I search AI tools here and just go normal search, no AI search, you can see that there are no ads at the top of the search engine, which is just a huge benefit. And if I wanna use the answer with AI, if I search for AI tools here, and I want to use the answer with AI, it starts writing a big list here of a bunch of different tools that we could go into like these tools and then free AI tools, then AI tools for creativity and collaboration, productivity as well from all these different sources. And it also is kind of funny that Google goes to the top. I guess they're ranking on all different search engines. They did on both the other ones as well. And then we have the discussions here from Reddit. I actually really like Reddit to find what is the best and actual answers from people and not like SEO written articles. And then it's much similar here, but it did a really, really good AI search here. Let's see what happens with best things to do in Italy. Yep, we get the AI response in the top, explore the cities, explore the countryside, outdoor activities, food and wine, unique experiences. They put TripAdvisor and Lonely Planet on the top, which is one of my favorite ways to browse things to do. And then obviously videos, which is my absolute favorite ways to try to experience the city before we actually go there. And it seems like there's a Reddit on the side here. And also in this discussions, it seems to be favoring Reddit quite a lot, which I do like. And also it feels great to know that None of my data is being used. All of this is private. And that's what I wanna get into next, the privacy and security. So Brave is a privacy first browser that tries to make a good user experience more than ads. And they have this shields feature, which is if you click in the top, you have this shields. So shields works like an ad blocker that keeps away unwanted ads trackers and even sophisticated fingerprinting attempts. So not only does it make it a better experience for you to browse, but also a lot faster because these ads don't have to load. So you can see we can easily just turn it on and you can see that we're on brave.com right now. But if we go to, for example, TechCrunch, you can see 15 trackers and ads blocked. Wire.com, they have 13 trackers and ads, which makes you realize how many people are tracking you. But where it really shines is in the advanced controls. So you can see you can block trackers and ads, but you can also aggressively block trackers and ads. So then you probably get more. You can also add this block scripts that are on the website, block fingerprinting, block third party cookies or all cookies and forget me when I close the site. So anything that's being tracked is all forgotten once you leave a site. Now, these can be quite harsh settings. So some website might actually not work if you have all these settings on. So you could use the filter list or the global defaults to set this as a standard. An added benefit of this is this is particularly crucial when you're working on public Wi-Fi networks. So probably now it makes sense how Brave is faster you have no ads, you don't get tracked, and you have your privacy. Lastly, I wanna talk about Brave Leo AI. So if you haven't heard about this, you can basically just ask questions, summarize pages, create new content, and more privately. And how it works is that it opens in the sidebar here if you're on desktop, if you're on Android or iOS, you can just tap the three dots icon and Leo will just open up and you can talk to it like any other LLM. But before I show you, you can even analyze PDFs, Google Docs, and Google Sheets, and more, getting you the info you need faster. So let me show you how it works in action. If I go to, for example, TechCrunch, and we have the biggest IT outage in the world that offers a $10 apology gift card. <laughs> Literally, my dad is working to fix a bunch of these things right now. You can easily go to the top and show this sidebar. Now, Leo is here to help you. All you need to do is either click on summarize this page, or if you just want to chat, you can do that. So let's start by summarizing this page. You can see here that it just summarized the entire page for you. Here in the top right, you have copy, like answer, dislike answer. You also have suggest questions here and you might know why they offer a $10 Uber Eats gift card, but how did a faulty CrowdStrike update cause global outage? Or maybe what measures is CrowdStrike taking after the outage? You can just click on that 
And just like that, it will start answering that question as well. And then you go deeper, seeing that around 8.5 million Windows devices were unusable and most of them being stuck at the blue screen of death. But that's of course not all. If you just wanna enter a prompt, you can just enter a prompt. Like who was responsible for this mistake? Seeing that the text does not provide specific information about who was directly responsible. Even more, you can click this button in the bottom. You can ask it, and this is basically quick actions to explain, paraphrase, improve, change tone, academic, professional, persuasive, and all these different tones create a tagline, social media short post, long post. So if we click on this, we can say, take the info from this page to make a short post. And just like that, you could post this to LinkedIn or to Twitter. So you can see how this is incredibly useful to more kind of chat with the article that you're watching. It's almost like having a friend to your right that you can ask questions with, start a dialogue with, and quickly summarize and create a lot of different content and answer questions to your curiosity right here in the browser using the best models that you can find from Mixtral to Claude 3 Haiq, Claude 3 Sonnet, that is a premium and Llama 3 8B. Just know that you can use the Leo free version as much and as often as you want. The, the premium version will simply have higher rate limits and more models to choose from. So we've seen how the AI search engine works, giving you an amazing answer with all the privacy in your hands. How secure Brave is working like an ad blocker that even makes it faster and increases the performance of your browser. So I left the link in the description down below to sign up to Brave and start using their browser today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.